So I don't know if you heard, tomorrow morning there's going to be a Pokemon Direct, and assuming that everything uh, goes well, I will be live streaming that Direct and live reacting to it uh, with all of you, and that should be a lot of fun. It'll be our first major um, Direct live stream of the year, uh, so I look forward to seeing all of you there. Um, it's going to be exciting. Hopefully I get the stream going about a half hour beforehand so we can maybe hype it up a bit. It's going to be about 20 minutes long, the actual uh, Pokemon Direct, so we'll... We'll kind of do like a half hour stream into it. We'll do our you know, do our re live reaction and then we'll talk a little bit about it after the fact. But one thing I have been noticing uh, on the internet when I look at the timing of the direct and I look at people's reactions, there seems to be a lot of negative reactions to the fact that a Pokemon direct is even coming. Now, I understand why some people might be negative about it. One, people really want a general Nintendo Direct. And right now, there is not a general Nintendo Direct announced for this month. Uh, so that has some people worried. And also, I think that some people are kind of ready to have a break from Pokemon news. We just got Sword and Shield less than two months ago. So to have another Pokemon Direct so soon feels um, a bit off-putting for some people. Because they just want to hear something that's not Pokemon. Um, and yeah, there could be some DLC plans here. Uh, there could be, you know, a new Pokemon fighter. There could be another mystery dungeon game or, or more spinoffs or talk of mobile games, uh, more talk of Pokemon Go or something. Like there could be some stuff in here. They could even announce remakes for this year if they want. Um, either another Let's Go game or, or a Sinnoh remake or something. I know that was trending on Twitter for a bit. Um, so I know that there is a lot of potential that could excite some people here, in particular Pokemon fans, but I think in general a lot of Switch fans are kind of ready for some non-Pokemon news before we get flooded with more Pokemon news. And Switch Force is actually a prime example of this. They put up a video uh, yesterday, uh, which was the day that, that it was announced again. It's happening tomorrow morning, I believe 8.30 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time, I think. But whatever, I'll have a stream set up ahead of time with the time and everything, and you guys can just go follow that. Um... This is the first Nintendo Direct 2020. Nintendo is making a big mistake. Uh, and it kind of works on this premise that Nintendo traditionally does these uh, individual game or franchise-based directs. And then it's usually two weeks to a month or more before we get another n Direct. So basically, because we're getting a Pokemon Direct means we're not getting a general Nintendo Direct in January. That's basically the premise of it. And uh, Zach, in this case, is very upset about the fact that we're just going to get Pokemon news this month and nothing else. And that could be the case. However, uh, the very first comment basically owns this entire video. And this is something that I don't know how many people are aware of, but Pokemon having its own special Direct actually has nothing to do with when the next Direct is coming. And oftentimes, the next Direct comes a week later. Here are the exact dates and examples as given up by this guy named Extreme. It says Pokemon Direct, September 4th, 2013. Nintendo Direct, four days later, September 8th, 2013. Pokemon Direct, February 26th, 2016. Nintendo Direct, one week later, March 3rd, 2016. Pokemon Direct, June 7th, 2017. Nintendo Direct, this is again E3, June 13th, 2017. Pokemon Direct, June 6th, 2019. This was last year. And obviously we had the Nintendo Direct five days later for, um, or the Nintendo Digital Event or whatever they're calling it now, uh, for E3 on June 11th, 2019. So yeah, the last two were because of E3, but the two prior ones were not. So them doing a Pokemon Direct now does not mean that we can't get a Nintendo Direct next week and i projected next week on the 14th i believe is when i figured we might get a direct uh, that would actually fall right in line with these kind of dates that we're seeing you know five six days later so um i don't think that the poke i think it's a little premature i guess to be upset um if you want to be upset by the end of february and this is the only news we get from nintendo is a pokemon direct then be upset in hindsight because then you can look back and be like yeah it did kind of suck that all we heard about was you know some pokemon spinoff games or something um although i know you know if they announce like a pokemon snap 2 so there's going to be people including myself that are going to literally fall out of my chair in excitement uh but that being said um I, I i am ready for more than pokemon news i mean to be honest i'm ready for more than animal crossing news and you have to figure animal crossing is going to be a big deal in the next direct that's the next major game coming out um and they've been slow building hype in japan with small trailers and this and that um and obviously animal crossing is a little bit of a weird game because you don't want to give away everything you can find in the game everything you can make in the game um but we know what animal crossing is 
you know, just like with The Sims and other games that are kind of um, a life simulation of sorts, like you know what the game is. There is only so much you can tease without just giving away everything. So I'm very curious how they're going to handle the hype cycle for Animal Crossing. But uh, I'm ready for more. Um, we know Emily Rogers, you know, put out there that there's going to there's at least two new Wii U ports coming. Those could be announced in our in our direct potentially. Um, but more than that, I think we want new games. I think we want want to see more of Breath of the Wild too. We want to know what's next for Mario. We want to know, um, you know, what's next for Mario Kart. I mean, we haven't had an original Mario Kart game in quite some time. It'd be nice to know what's next for that franchise. Are we going to get an Arms two? Is that something that might be on the slate? Um, some people wondering about Splatoon 3, some people wondering about a lot of different different games, even games you haven't seen in a while, like a Kid Icarus or something. You know, last one was Kid Icarus Uprising on 3DS. Are we going to get something, so a new Kid Icarus game? Uh, there, there's just a lot we don't know about Nintendo the rest of this year, and I think that's what's leading to the disappointment here. I think if this Direct happened after a standard Nintendo Direct, people would be less concerned and less upset. But because it's the first Direct announce of the year when we're so starving, I mean, literally starving to see what the lineup is for this year, uh, I think that's really the issue. I think it's just a timing issue. But again, remember, as Extreme points out, this doesn't mean we're not going to get a general Nintendo Direct. In fact, based on the dates given, you could argue this could actually point to the fact that we will have a Nintendo Direct next week. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Pokemon Directs don't come around that often. Just pointing that out, they don't actually come around that often. So um, they seem to always be a precursor. So then maybe the main Direct isn't so Pokemon-dominated. Maybe that's the idea. Um, also, we have to remember the Pokemon company likes to do their own thing. They don't like to operate within Nintendo's framework of wanting the hype games. So uh, that, that's also a thing to consider as well, that maybe they just don't want to be in a direct too because um, we, want it, we want our own event. We don't, we're, 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 we're too big for a Nintendo direct or something. Um, but you, you'll see this you know, throughout the comments. Um, you know, there's, there's remakes, you know, bro, chill. We'll get a real direct by the end of next month, by the end of February is what they're saying. A new Smash character, potentially. Um, we don't care not to give us money. Um, another Zach complaining video. I like it kind of a lot, but, whiny, but a lot of whining about directs. Like, and, and it's not just, you know, I know that this is kind of piling on Switch Force, but it's not just Switch Force. I've seen this on Twitter. Um, I've seen this in just a lot of places. Switch Force is just an easy one to call out because they're a public entity and they created a public-facing video criticizing this. I, I, I don't think we can, one, I don't think you can criticize a Pokemon Direct until we see it. Um, you can be skeptical. That's fine. If, if Zach and others want to be skeptical of the Direct, that's okay. Um, but you can't criticize something when we don't know what the content is yet. So once we have the Direct here, then criticize it. Um, and remember that a Pokemon Direct does not mean we can't get another Direct this month. So... Uh, we can still get a general direct next week or the week after. It could still happen, um, and I, I firmly believe will happen. And no, I don't have any insider knowledge on that, so you can't like look at me and take it to the bank. You know, But I am predicting we will get a Nintendo Direct this month. But it's a prediction, not, th not something I have any information to actually confirm, I except maybe the fact that we are getting a Pokemon Direct, and there does seem to be some correlation between Pokemon Directs and Nintendo Directs. Um, now, that being said... What do I expect in this Pokemon Direct? Uh, that's that's kind of a toss-up because it is early to get Pokemon news so soon after Sword and Shield. So I do expect um, an announcement of certain events, raid events or whatever, uh, in the game, uh, Sword and Shield. I do expect spin-off announcements. There's going to be a major spin-off. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what Pokemon Tournament's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a Mystery Dungeon or what. I, don't, I have no idea. Maybe it's Detective Pikachu 2. Uh, there is supposed to be a second Detective Pikachu movie in the works, so having another game to come before that might be something um, that they won't, they might want to do. Uh, so that's possible. Obviously, I always expect to see a little bit of mobile news, whether it's on Go or whether it's on any other mobile offering they're working on. Um, Magikarp Jump! <laughs> I haven't heard about that game in a while. Um, so I expect uh, basically a smattering of smaller things that, that excites a bunch of little mini crowds inside the Pokemon community. Now, do I expect them to announce the, you know, whatever the big Pokemon game is going to be at the end of this year, whatever remake it's going to be or whatever? I don't know if they're going to announce that yet, but they could. They could prematurely. I think this is not really premature. It is 2020. I guess they could tell us that we are going to get a Pokemon game at the end of this year. Um, so that is something that is on the table and would excite some people. 
Um, I know, again, Sinnoh remake was literally like trending on Twitter yesterday, so um, I'm sure that remake in particular would really excite some people. But we'll see. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, and that's why I don't want to put too much out there, put too much expectation on. Like, I don't want to be like, man, wouldn't it be great if we got Pokemon Snap? Like, I don't want to overhype um, a Pokemon Direct when they're really all over the place on whether or not they deliver. Kind of like normal Nintendo Directs. At least with normal Directs, there's such a wide smattering of games that you can be like, oh, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. But here it's like, okay, it's, po it's something Pokemon. We're getting Pokemon news. That's what's happening. So it is what it is. You're just going to have to live with it. Uh, just don't forget that like to Tokyo Mirage Sessions is coming out this year on Switch. Don't forget about Animal Crossing coming out this year. Don't forget about the Doom Eternals, um, the Outer Worlds that are coming out later this year as well. Like We have a decent lineup of games already. We just need want to know the rest. And uh, I get why people are being critical, but it's too soon. Let's wait. Let's at least wait till the end of the month before you can say, man, we should have had a Nintendo Direct instead of the Pokemon Direct. Or at least, can we at least wait till the Pokemon Direct's dumb before we even have that opinion? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Like... I want a general Nintendo Direct, but can we at least wait and see what this Direct is? And then we can go from there. Anyways, I understand your wonderful Jantz. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is my channel, Nate Jantz. It's what I, I typically go by. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe for more content. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow live streaming this. Uh, also, be sure to come back later tonight. Uh, we do have the Nintendo Prime podcast tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, it is a live stream Nintendo podcast. Uh, we have the full crew on board here. We got Eric and 5J coming in, so be sure to come out, come in, check it out, enjoy your time. Um, you know, leave your comments and, and ask your questions. We have a little Q and A section part of it as well. Um, good times are coming, and I'll catch you guys tonight, if not tomorrow. Peace out.